Hello, camera, live to public instead of doing it all over again, taped. Lipstick, check. Lighting, getting better. Color, got some. Covered up the spot on my shirt from lunch. I have my script and I will be using it. And, last but not least, my hat goes like that. It's on all my marketing stuff, so you'll recognize it. I'm going to flip it up and look like a goober, and here we go. I'm Vicki Ross, and I teach people how to learn and grow as artists, filling their empty time with peace. I want to talk to you today about ways that you can use that to create a Zen zone that gives you the peace that you can heal. I want to ask you a question first. Do you ever think about what you're going to do when you're over 50? You're going to recreate yourself. You're going to retire, so you're not necessarily going to want to do that. That's responsible. We don't want to do that anymore. But have you ever wondered what in the world it was you wanted to do? Let me give you some ideas. You've tried several creative outlets, but nothing really hooked you. Or you never really understood it well enough to get good at it so that you could have some peace and some pride in what you're doing? If that's you, you're going to love this training. After this is over, I'm going to invite you to download your free copy of the Actually Art Roadmap. What this does is it outlines for you some of the mistakes I made and the path that I took over 15 years to learn how to paint like I do today. And I don't want you to think that I've reached the end-all be-all of artists because I haven't. And because that will never happen. Even Picasso and Renoir and those folks painted goobers from time to time. And they were still learning. And every painting was a risk. And you never know until you get done with it whether it's good or not. So, I can do most of what I try to do. But I still paint goobers. You can bet on that. I'm going to show you some. Um, I lost my place. Okay, so... There you have it with the roadmap. I spent 15 years gathering all the information and all the research that I could possibly find. I studied with every person that came through town, whether they were a good teacher or not. I spent money going to Europe, which that was fun, but didn't really enjoy where we were because I was busy that I was going to get every ounce of information out of that tutor. Um... In that time period, I read everything, I studied everything, and I filled the funnel in my brain with so much stuff that didn't relate and it wasn't that important, and I never gave up. That's the point where a lot of people just flat give up. And I'm going to tell you how I did it, and if you want to, you can follow along right on that, and you're on your way to start. There are mistakes, like I said, that I made along the way. And unless you were pushed off a cliff like I was, where I had to do something to reinvent myself, or I would just piffle away into some magic dust, um, you may decide to jump off the cliff. You may decide to quit your job, your children are grown, your partner may be gone, and it's all you. All by yourself. With 24 hours a day to fill. Are you going to spend it on social media? Are you going to nag at yourself? Are you going to overeat, overdrink, any of those things? Well, this is a good solution for you. You might as well start now. The second mistake is listening to your alter ego. Mine even has a name. It's Victoria. And she says, Oh, you don't want to paint today. It's cold in the studio. Or, you don't want to go outside and play in air paint because it's hot. You'll sweat. There's mosquitoes, bugs. What'd you make that brush stroke for? You don't know what you're doing. So, in order to deal with her, I have to lock her outside my studio, and I've developed some tips and tricks to do that and shut her up, and it works every time. I want you to think back to when you were in elementary school and you, first day of school, and you had a brand new box of Crayola crayons. That lid flips open. And you smell them, and they're just sitting there with their perfect little sharp points. 
and you can't wait to get in there and use them. Except if you're like me, you always save stuff. Did you know that you can use the bottom of the crayon to color with and it leaves the points? Until somebody borrows one and breaks it half and then all of a sudden it's lost some of its glow. Well, anyway, we're going to go back to that point and we're going to rekindle that desire that you had then. And we're going to build on that as if there weren't algebra and boys and geometry and kids and husbands and soccer teams and all that stuff. You're now at a point where you can do whatever you want to do for you. There is no fear. There are no rules. It's just for you. Mistake number three that I see often is that people really want to do something, but they've convinced themselves they can't because they don't know how. The other thing is, they know after having walked into an art store or two, there are millions of things to buy. And you're walking in there and you walk right back out with nothing. Or maybe some silk flowers, you know, something. And you don't know what it is for. You don't know what you need. You don't know anything. We're going to take care of that for you, too. You don't have to worry about a thing. Back to my Louvre comment. We were coming back from the Louvre on a trip to Paris, back to the country where we were lodging. And my mentor looked at me and she said, Do you really want to paint those grotesque, bloody, religious, life-size horses snorting? bloody heads and all that stuff. And I said, well, no. And she said, well, you're trying to paint emotional paintings and you don't know what you're doing. You've got to go back to the basics and you've got to start from the beginning. You can't start in the middle. So I hereby give you permission to paint apples and trees and people. You are forever out of the box of feeling like you have to do that to honor your daughter. Now that is an epiphany, and I haven't looked back since. I also haven't painted any of those emotional paintings either, because I enjoy my painting, and I don't necessarily want to wear a hair shirt while I do it. So anyway, that is one of the big things that I had to overcome. Now, if you enjoyed this, there's a link, one way or the other, probably down, to the free roadmap. Register for it and download it. It's PDF. And the other thing is a free, actually, art, free Facebook group. And the link for that is also there. It's a community of like-minded people. You know, they don't have to be over 50, but, you know, most people that aren't don't have any time for anything superfluous. All I need is a cigarette. Anyway, the links are there. I'm going to quit being silly. And see you later. I love to see you in the community. Bye.